My phone is ringing and I didn't sell anything. Hello? This? This is Tom Nook. Are you busy? I have a visitor here that I'd love to introduce you to. Sorry to barge in on your day, but would you please come to the airport so you can meet her? Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. We're going straight there. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi. This is an intro. Um, I'm playing the happy home. No, I need it. I need to do the intro. I thought I was going to be able to do it first. I'm playing the Happy Home DLC today. I bought it today. It's currently November 5th. We're going to check it out together. So I hope y'all are ready. And we're going to get right into it, apparently. <laughs> wow, I did not expect to just jump right into it. Ah, Viss, you're here. Lottie, allow me to introduce you to Viss. Oh, hello. I'm Lottie. I used to work with Mr. Nook a long time ago, before this big island venture he started. Now she runs her very own vacation company, Girl Boss. Lottie's a girl boss confirmed. We just got our new office set up, so we're finally ready ready to start taking custom orders for vacation home. Pretend I said that correctly. Right now, we need another team member, a go-getter with vision and insight into our client's needs. When I told Mr. Nook what I was looking for, he said he knew exactly who to ask, and here we are. When she came to me, you were the first one I thought of. After all, you've done such a lovely job with your own home. Are you sure about that? Tom Nook, you haven't been to my house lately. I don't think you know what you're saying right here. What do you think? Are you interested, Viss? Hell yeah. Wow, I'm surprised you can say no. I did not expect to just jump right into it. Oh, she looks so adorable running off. <laughs> Before we do that though, we gotta check out a few things. Just a few quick things that I wanna get started on before we truly get into it. I just wanna quickly see if I can get another cap and island. <gasps> No way, no way. Oh my God. Oh my God, I got the vines. <gasps> they look so good. Holy shit, and the glowing weeds. I I still have no idea what these weeds are, but I'm, I'm picking them up. Oh my God, what a good start to the video, y'all. And we got a bottle. I believe there's a bottle on every island because every island I've been to, I found a bottle. So let's see who it's from, three, two, one. Tiffany, oh, a glowing moss jar. I'm assuming you need the glowing weeds, or I guess they're called glowing moss to craft that. How does it look? Oh, that's cute. By the by, Plain Vis, is this your first time flying these particular skies? There's a bunch of little islands scattered around here. Real pretty. Tropical fruit for your eyes? Also the regular kind of tropical fruit? Wait, I haven't seen anybody talk about it. Are the tropical fruit coming back? Well, we're about to find out, I guess. Ooh. We already seen this in the trailer. Ooh, this is the new island. So I'm assuming the flyover is gonna get better and better the more you unlock items. Oh my God, that bridge is dark brown. There's no fruit trees. So that's quite interesting. Oh my God, it's Nico. He's so adorable. Should I give him a voice? Hi, you must be the newbie that Lottie was talking about, right? I'm glad the island sent you to me. I'm Nico, I work with Lottie. He has a deep voice in my head, okay? The office isn't far from this pier, so let's get going. Oh my God, look at him running. <laughs> Can I talk to him? Wait, come back here, bitch. This way to the office. I want to quickly explore everything before we head off to the office. First of all, the bluebirds. Bluebirds confirmed. Look at this archway. I guess if you come here with a wetsuit, you might be able to swim around and stuff. You can climb up these vines over here. That's pretty interesting. Wow, stone archway. Look at all these weeds. Or I should say the moss. Photo op right over here. Amazing. It's about time we head off into the office. Oh, I left the door open for Nico. Oh my god, it's Wardle! Welcome! I've been waiting for you, Vish. Welcome back to you too, Nico. I think Nito is, Nico has already introduced himself, but I'll introduce you to everyone formally now. Everyone, this is Vish, the person in charge of our custom vacation homes. Glad you're here, Vish. I don't know why I'm giving her a lisp, but we're gonna roll with it. Just remember, I'm your guy if there's anything you need. The islands around here are kind of like my backyard, you know? Our Nico is the expert when it comes comes to all things local. He can take you straight to any island you need. I'm also trying to learn more about sales and home construction, so ask me anything. Next up is Wardle. He's in charge of managing furniture procurement. I don't know how to say that word. Hello. Okay, we can go change. Let's go change. Oh my God, this TV item is adorable. You can store things in this cabinet. You can use this cabinet to access your home storage. That's pretty sick. Wait, that's actually sick. I can put things away. Thank God, because I did not mean to bring those pumpkin starts with me. Ooh, it's like all the tropical items. Wait, oh, you can either put a short, a shirt or a dress. That's pretty cute. Um, Can I put like actual shorts on? <laughs> Thank you. I do not want to be running around in my underwear. Oh, that is a perfect hat. I'm wearing this. Uh, they stole my glasses from me. Wait, that's so rude. They took my glasses away. 
Girl, how am I supposed to be able to see? Oh my God, the bags. <gasps> I got the bear backpack. Y'all know me, I love me a nice little bear on my back. That's my uniform right there. I am serving looks. Let's talk to our big boy Wardle right over here. Will he say anything? No. My theory still stands that he's gonna be similar to Sable. That uniform is perfect for you. You are looking good, my friend. Now that you're all decked out in the official garb, let me just say, welcome to Paradise Planning. Did I forget to tell you about our name? We're Paradise Planning. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It's better than Nook's Homes, if I do say so myself. I think it's best to learn on the job, so I'd like you to get started right away. I'm here to help you as much as I can, but remember, I'm here. What I mean is, I can't leave the office. Oh my god, free Lottie. Nico's my sidekick. Me and Nico are gonna take over the world. You can even call me boss. I mean, if you want, boss. The boss boys are at it. Now all we need to do is find some client. Oh my God, it's Eloise. <gasps> Isn't this a darling little office? Why does she look bald? I've heard this is the place to be when one is looking for a vacation home tailored to one's needs, yes? I've been a visitor here many times and this island always helps me feel relaxed. In any case, I think it would be quite marvelous to have my own little getaway. The thing is, I haven't the slightest idea about how to make such a thing happen. That's what we're here for. No worries at all, we'll do our best to make your dreams come true. I'm making her sound more and more desperate by the second. I'm so sorry. Ooh, love the UI. A relaxing reading room. Oh my god, this is basically like Goldie in Happy Home Designer on the 3DS. Good luck with the client at the job site. Nico will take you by boat. Ooh, Nico has a bow? Oh my god, the loading screen! <laughs> it's Nico. So that's gonna be my vacation home. I'm so excited. Can we go see what the inside is like? Come on, let's go. Okay, newbie, this is it. The show, the real deal, the big time. Yeah, tutorial. This is the tutorial house. So this is pretty much the concept of the DLC. We get to design homes for villagers and take what we learned from the DLC and apply it to our actual island. Eloise has these little stacks of books. She's got a giant ass bookshelf how the hell did that fit in the box and a rocking chair and it's our job to basically come up with a thing wait what is this we'll also find other items that will likely fit the concept Ooh, so it actually like recommends some items for you that's pretty cute oh that's actually pretty helpful oh my god we can use weeds <laughs> She likes it. Oh my God. Eloise is a pothead confirmed. So we got to create a relaxing reading room for Eloise. So as long as it includes those three items, basically you need to include the three or more that they want in order to satisfy the thing. I guess we can just like sit here and think. First of all, I think it's better to start off with wallpaper and flooring. Something that matches a reading wall. Oh, we have accent walls. Right. We have accent walls. That makes it even more interesting. I think the best way to do this is to judge. You can actually see the villagers reactions to the thing, see what they like the most. As you can see, Eloise seems to be liking everything. I don't know what the good reactions are. As you saw when I dropped the bag of weed, though, she was quite excited for that. So I think what I'm going to do is put this. We're going to go for like like a very beach themed island maybe. I definitely want to use some accent walls though. So that's going to be very interesting. How am I going to do this? I got to think for a bit. I spent five minutes doing this. I think we're just going to do this for now. Quite a basic layout, I would say. Nothing too crazy. Ooh, there's actually a lot of cute items. First of all, Ikea shelves are now back in the game. What else do we have? We got some nice, lovely plants. I'm already overthinking. Hello, so it took me a very, very long time to do this build for Eloise. So I figured while that's happening, we can share some island drama. First things first, as soon as I finished recording the video, uh, look who popped up on the beach. <laughs> so brave for showing her face again. Maybe I'll design a house for her though in the future. You never know. Also, look, Melba and Teddy had the stare down of the century and then she went off and waved at Poppy over there. Melba is starting to to be a little messy. She was about to wave at Poppy too. She was about to wave at Poppy, but she wanted to make sure that Teddy was staring at her as she was waving at Poppy. Look at Leaf in the middle of all this being awkward as ever. He doesn't know what to do in this moment. Melba is a messy bitch confirmed. Come through Melba. She's in her messy era. Join the club. I love her so much. And one more thing that I want to bring up. Um, Pecan asked to move out. She's moving out by the way. Can't wait for that to happen and I think that Agnes or Margie or possibly both of them together had something to do with it. They managed to run her out of town so come through Agnes and Margie the two messiest girls alive. <laughs> 
Ooh, this cutscene is adorable. Was I supposed to do the exterior too? They didn't say that I was supposed to do the exterior. So let's hope I wasn't supposed to do the exterior as well. Oh, thank God. Oh my goodness, I, f I thought I had to do the outside too. So glad I asked you to do this, it's marvelous. Look at you, your first job was a huge success. I can't wait to tell Lottie about the work you did. That was like actually kind of fun though. Honestly, welcome back. So how to go with our first client, Vish? Tell me everything. It was perfect. Perfectly splendid. Hi, Nico. Hey, hey, there you are. You're starting on your next job, yeah? Nico's here to help. Look over there. <gasps> no fucking way. No way. Oh my god. It's the man who will ruin my life. I'm going straight to him. I want a place to watch sports without any distractions. Ew, he likes sports. I did not expect to find him this way, but I am not complaining. I have to tweet this out right now. Y'all are watching me tweet this out right now. Follow me on Twitter. I gotta tell you, this resort sure is something. And now I gotta ask you, um, who are you again? He's a sports fan. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'll make an exception for Fred. Can I choose his location? Yes, I get to choose his location. That's even more exciting. Each of the tiny islands in this area has its own characteristics. Um, oh, Eloise is there. I can change the season. That's quite interesting. What happens if I select that one with Eloise already being there? I don't want to try that out yet. When I think sports fans, what do do I think? I think trash. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Where do I see Fret living in? That's a good question. I think that's what I should answer. I think this one works though. I still don't understand what peak season means though. I think we're gonna go with this one. I get to design a house for Fret. Ooh, this area is stunning. Can I actually do the exterior as well? Ooh, we can do the yard now too. That's great. I'm more excited for the yard, honestly. But before we do that, since I feel like I'm not gonna struggle, we're gonna go straight inside first and do the interior. Oh, look at him running in. <laughs> I held the door open for him. I'm a gentleman, as you can clearly see. He's got a nice flat screen TV and a soccer ball. Ooh, the sloppy series is back. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. I'm quite inspired. I am quite inspired. Goodness, not the sloppy series. I fucking love the sloppy series. It was one of my favorite sets in New Leaf. I'm so happy to see it make a return. My God. <clears throat> I did another build for Fred, as we are seeing, and I did talk throughout all of it so enjoy another montage Wait, I can change his clothes? Oh my god, I can change Nico's clothes. Nintendo, why are you allowing this? Why are you allowing me to change Nico's clothes? That is amazing. I'm giving him a floral headpiece. Can I change Fret's clothes? No, but I can change the ramp. Oh, I did not expect that. Wait, that's actually pretty cool. I can change Fret's clothes too. Oh my god. I'm putting him in a dress. Am I allowed to do that? I'm actually doing this. I don't care. He's wearing a dress. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I gave him a dress. Oh my god. The tree is in the way, so I don't know what he's doing behind there. Ooh, we can get some photos. I think Fret's wearing a pretty stunning outfit overall. Probably just have Fret like sitting down over here. <laughs> <laughs> sir, look at me. Hi, sir. <laughs> That's gonna be the photo I use. Sure. Yep. That's the photo. That's it. Goodbye, Fret. Now. Ain't that something. Yep, you captured the charm of the place, all right. All right, and um, I think I'm just gonna call it there because I'm quite tired. It looks like you get 6,000 pokey per thing. And I wanna know if I unlock anything. <laughs> Is this the photo of the vacation home you just worked on? <laughs> wow, it looks great. <laughs> Beautiful photo, oh my goodness. Okay, so, oh, we get a new Nook phone app. I did not expect that. The Happy Home Network, right. This is basically Animal Crossing Instagram integrated into Animal Crossing, the game itself. How exciting. Oh God, it's gonna constantly show that photo to me, aren't it? 
I don't, it doesn't look like we've unlocked anything. However, that was a pretty fun first attempt at Happy Home Paradise, if I do say so myself. Uh, why am I cycling through these frames? Um, I spent almost two hours playing the Happy Home Paradise thing, and I, I had quite some fun. For someone like me who is a very big fan of customizing and designing in Animal Crossing, yeah, I enjoyed it. I will say, though, it's very tiring and very time-consuming, especially if you have, like, a really creative idea in your head. Definitely just take your time with it. Try not to rush through. Yeah, I'm probably gonna explore some more on my own time. Maybe do a few more videos if y'all are interested, but that was just my first impressions of the game. I Pretty fun, like I said. Very excited to see who else I'll be designing houses for and very excited to see what I'm able to unlock. Maybe I'll share more of my experience on Twitter so you can go follow me on there. I got not much else to say, so bye. <laughs> Let's just stare at Wardle for the rest of the video. Oh, baby. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. Hey, girly.